61A Fall 2016 Final Walkthrough. Now this test has a What Would Python Display page, an environment diagram question, a page on box and pointers, a page on trees and or lists, a question on a reset function, a scheme question, and a hailstone question. Let's just get right into it with the What Would Python Display questions. All right, here's the whole body. By now, you've probably noticed that while these kind of questions aren't th really the most logically difficult, a big challenge comes in keeping track of everything. One thing you might have noticed about Python is that it really doesn't care about the body of a function until it's called. Let's first list our functions and ignore all the messy code that describes them. Okay, so we have nine objects lists here, and also this reduce function and the pair class, both of which the problem says we'll need. All right, with all that set up, we're ready to start going. The first question is this. All we gotta do is print and print whatever we find in the parentheses. Two and, hold up, there's a function in here. Well, we gotta do that so we can find out what to print, don't we? We need to call s on another function. Well, we gotta do that so we can find out what to call s on, don't we? Oh, well, it's just another print function and it's telling us to print three. So we put three down here. And, rem and remember that print statements evaluate to none. So we replace this whole print statement with none. And if you need a refresher, Professor De Niro talks about it right here. So now we need to call s on none. When we look at s, we see that it refers to the print function. We replace s up here with print, so down here we print none. You might think that printing none might give us an error, but that's not the rule in Python. And now we can replace this whole s function call with just none. So finally, we have print two comma none and we write down on one line two and none. On to the next question. We have one list that contains a list with three and a separate list with two. Let's visualize this. And to make things easier, let's ignore this one in brackets. All right, there we go. We pass that into this emit function. Now what does emit do? Well, here it is, it's a list comprehension. So we're going to be creating a new list. Because list comprehension always iterates over something, the question is what we need to iterate over. Well, the answer is the input, which is just our initial list. So in the lambda function, let's just replace these y's here with our list to make everything easier. What the list comprehension is saying is that each element in this new list is going to be our old list added to an element of our old list. Because our old list has two elements, we know that our whole call to emit will be replaced with a two element list. So let's just replace our emit statement to keep that in mind. All right, so, our zeroth element in our new list is going to be the sum of the zeroth element of our old list and a copy of our old list. So it looks like this. Understand that because we're adding lists, each entry in our new list up here will be a list. Our first element is similar, a list that's the sum of the first element of our old list and a copy of our old list. And because of this one, we just write down the first element of our new list. We do that and we're done. On to the next question.